One of the primary functions of a leader is to provide their team with the tools necessary to do their jobs. And one area that I see over and over again, I've seen it in my own career in leadership and as an employee, and the stupidest mistake that leaders make is not providing the simplest tools, simplest supplies, pens, post-it notes, running out of those things. What do you pay your people every day? Have you thought about that? $50 a day, $100 a day, $200 a day, and yet at the end of the week, all of a sudden they're scrambling around because they can't find a, a pad of post-it notes that cost a quarter. They can't find a pen that costs 10 cents. Those are the sort of stupid little budget cuts that people pay attention to in accounting and what have you that have an effect on your leadership. Forget about whether they can make do with the pens that they have, you know, using scratch paper, that sort of thing. How does that make them feel? How does it make them feel from a, a sense of self-worth? You know what? I'm not even good enough that they'll provide me with post-it notes and pens. You know, those are the simple things. Having the $10,000 printer, but running out of toner for it. Those are the sort of, I want to say, bonehead leadership mistakes that you just simply can't make. How embarrassing is that to you as a leader that you can't provide your team with that? What does that make them think of you? Now, I've managed a P&L before. I've managed it at several different companies, and I know how those discussions go. There's a little line item for supplies down there, and it turns red or it turns black depending on your, whether you're spending too much or too little on that. But you really need to just go ahead and take the hit on it and order that little bit extra. It usually takes just one month where you know what, you're going to go ahead and have to discuss it with somebody that you spent an extra $100 on supplies. But that's all it takes sometimes. And you can actually justify it if you start thinking about how much time is spent. Those people that you spend $50, $100, $200 a day for, you know, to, to run your operation, how much time they spend asking people for supplies, running around to the different supply closets that are on the floor. That's where you start getting that ROI, but really it comes back to leadership. So take the little extra hit as far as your boss is concerned, spend the little extra money and get the little things right um, because it makes it much easier um, when you start tackling and struggling with the tougher things. Have a good one.